here's a common question uh, in regards to productivity that you might be able to relate to. Question is, to be honest, I feel like I'm spending 20 hours a week beating myself up about all the things I'm not doing and trying to work out WTF, why the F, I don't have any motivation. Okay, can you relate to that? Someone else wrote something similar, which is I struggle with creating. I'm good at thinking about what I should do. All right, so here is a couple of thoughts I had on this. And um, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm not the only one with, with uh, opinion about this. So please do feel free to comment below if you have any, any tips for these question askers and maybe for yourself as well. Notes to self, right? All right, the first thing is, do you have human accountability for whatever it is that you are beating yourself up about not doing, which I hope actually maybe tip number one is to, um, you know, uh, take, put, put the flagellation tool down <laughs> and understand that you are having a perfectly human experience that all of us are with you on. You are in this giant club of uh, people who would love to be more productive. Uh, and the fact that you want to uh, get some important things done already, um, bodes well for, for your, for your future, I think, because you are, uh, you have a vision, you have, you have goals, you have um, an, a direction to aim towards, which, you know, a lot of people don't. So the fact that you want to get some things done means you have, you have, so that's good that you should, you should congratulate and appreciate yourself for that. And there's no need to blame yourself at all, because what you're facing is what many of us who are creators and, you know, vision creators uh, take. So that's the first one. The second thing is, do you have human accountability? Because most of us need that we are you know we are animals that are uh, evolved in tribal uh you know in, in 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 tribes that's how we evolved and and so human accountability is incredibly powerful for us so uh if you have a friend or colleague who is working on something similar if you're in one of my programs there's a directory of students and you may be able to reach out to someone you resonate with and, and get some accountability on working on this particular project. And the simplest way for accountability is well, if you have a friend or colleague who's doing this with you to say, hey, can we check in once a week on this project that, that's so important to me? And when we check in once a week, I'm going to tell you what I aim to, to accomplish this week that's realistic and how I'm going to do it and when I'm going to do it. And, and so I'm going to check in with you about these three things. What about you? What's your pro important project? And I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to report back to you every week on how it went. You can even report back to them. You know, if it's a close enough relationship, you could say, hey, let's do a brief check in every day, every working day. Um, and, and just through Facebook messaging or Instagram or, or email or whatever it is, we can briefly check in. So human accountability, huge. Now, uh, if you don't have that available, the, the alternative, which I use a lot, is called Focusmate. You probably hear me talk about this if you've been in any of my productivity stuff. I do have a Focusmate community that I uh, welcome and encourage you to join, and I will put the link below. The Focusmate community basically means that if you join it, you will be able to be paired up on Focusmate with me and others in my community more often. Now, if you're if you're shy about being paired up with me, if you see me show up on the Focus Me schedule, you can click my name and snooze me. Okay, you, you can snooze anybody on Focus Me. They won't know they're being snoozed, meaning they won't show up anymore for you as a pairing. So feel free to snooze snooze me if you're if you're too shy about it, and you can still get paired up with others in my community. So you could snooze me for a month or forever; it doesn't matter. I I won't know that you've done that. So um. So that's that's human accountability. Next uh, next tip, I guess tip number three, is um, uh, give me one second here. All right. So tip number three is this is huge uh, for so many of us who are who are um, intuitive, more heart based, uh, perhaps more ADHD creators. Of uh, you know, I I share some of those characteristics too. I don't know if I've been diagnosed or not, but. I haven't been diagnosed, but I haven't tried. <laughs> but a lot of entrepreneurs are are are, are ADHD, um, you know, on that spectrum. So uh, the here's a third here's a third tip. Do you have a clear workflow process for whatever it is you're working on? Because this is often why we get stuck or don't even move forward, and we just checking email, social media you know, coming to calls like this. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. I'm so grateful you're here. Those of you who are live here, 
but it's easier to come to a call and consume inform- or, or watch a video and consume information than it is to create your own thing. And oftentimes it's because we don't have a clear workflow. We don't have a, so, so for what I mean by clear work, I call it a hat manual because in business we wear multiple hats. Okay. Now I'm wearing the blog, blog writer hat. Now I'm wearing the um, bookkeeper hat. Now I'm wearing the preparing for a course hat. You know, every hat has a manual. A manual can simply be a, a few bullet points for what do I do when I'm preparing for a course? What do I do when I'm creating a new offer? What do I do when I'm writing a blog post? Because I, I use a hat manual for writing for writing. Because uh, those of you who know my story know I have struggled so much with writing all my life. I still struggle with writing. I um, partly because I, you know, immigrate, we immigrate, my family immigrated from Taiwan to the United States when I was still learning the, my first language, I was still learning. And then now I have to learn another language, English. And I was bullied for being quiet because I was in the mostly, um, I was one of the few minorities in my, in my school all growing up, one through 12, I was one of the only minorities. So anyway, long story short, I've struggled more than most of you with writing. I don't love, I don't, I don't like to write. I still don't to this day. Every time I look at my schedule, I got my writing coming up. I'm anxious. Oh my God, I'm writing today. Later today, I'm going to do, do some writing. I'm anxious about it, but I've learned to regulate myself over time, energy reboots and all that stuff. So I can, I can learn to ignore the fear and the judgment and, 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 and having the hat manual is calming for me to say, okay, how do I write? I don't know how to write. Oh, yes. Point one, um, take, uh, you know, write, uh, pick one topic from my ideas list. And I go to my ideas list. Oh, which which topic resonates with me right now? Oh, that topic. OK, great. Uh, step two, um, brain st- set set timer for 10 minutes and brainstorm anything that comes to mind regarding this topic. Per- imperfect, crazy, wild, boring, mundane, interesting, whatever. Doesn't matter. Right. So, so in a step three, uh, I don't have my hat manual right now in front of me and, and um, doesn't matter what I'm trying to say is to have a process, you know, step three might be okay. Um, cut and paste the things that brainstormed into a possible order of ideas or whatever. Do you see what I mean? Like have a workflow process for yourself for whatever it is you're struggling through. Even simple as to you, it might be simple, right? Writing an article is not to me, right? Uh, making a video. Do you have a do you, do, you, do you struggle with that? Well, do you have a workflow process, including calming yourself and self-regulation? Uh, that should be part of your checklist. Why not? Of course. And so I don't. The main thing is I I try not to think as much as possible. I try not to think throughout my whole day. I simply do. The only time I'm thinking is when I'm creating a workflow process, a hat manual to say, well, I got to think about how this process works. Let me write this down. And then throughout my process, I'm always updating my hat manual to say, oh, you know what? I realize this should go in between steps two and three. Let me go and update that right now because I've got it in front of me, right? So do you have a clear hat manual for whatever it is you're procrastinating on? My guess is you don't, right? That's how many of us procrastinate. But once you do, now you just have to pull it up. And, and, and when, you, when you still have the thing pulled up and you're procrastinating, here's why. One of those steps is too big. It's like you're climbing the stairs from from floor one to floor two. Okay, let's say you're climbing the stairs from floor one to floor two. There's only two steps. <laughs> well, that's not a stair. That's like you have to get a ladder to get to the next step. That doesn't make well a ladder. Why does a ladder work? It's, it's like little steps, step, step, step. So if any time you're stuck on one step, you're like, I am. I'm check my email now. What what just happened? What happened was that one step was too high. You got to get the ladder now. So step 1A, open Google Drive. Step 1B, type in this word to find the document. You see what I mean? You have to have your hat mounted be so calming because it's so like, oh, I can follow those steps. And if the steps are are freaking you out, it's because you need more space literally on the, on the you literally need more space in the document, right? So for example, I'm, I'm on this document right now. If it's freaking me out just by looking at this, because there's so many words, then I need to simply create a lot more space in between each step. I mean, you, whatever you need to do to make things calm for you, right? If I have to define what these steps are, then I will go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm getting freaked out now. There's too many words in a row, you know? Okay, make myself calmer by creating more space. Whatever it is you need to do, you see what I mean? To calm yourself which is often writing it down. And uh, 
uh, tip number four is if you don't know, if you genuinely don't know what the workflow process, should, George, that sounds nice. Why a workflow? It sounds nice. But I don't know what to write. I, I really don't. For example, I'm launching a business and I don't know what the workflow should be to launch a product or a service or a business or to brand myself. I don't know what the steps are. This is where you can have the benefit of a friend, a colleague, a coach, if you can afford one. Or if you're in one of my programs, come to my Q&A calls. This is what I love helping people through. It's like, let's create a workflow document for you right now. All right. Oh, you're trying to make an Instagram reel? Here are the steps. Step number one, do uh, you have the Instagram app? Because you need the mobile app to, <laughs> to, to make a reel. You don't have an app. Okay, that's step one. Actually, you don't. You can, you can upload a reel directly from your desktop these days. But you see what I mean? Like whatever you need in terms of business, marketing, productivity, you don't have a workflow process, come to my calls and let's work it out right now, right? So that's what I love doing with people. And I hope, uh, I hope that this is helpful. So last thing, if any of these things aren't helping, please comment below. What else is stopping you from getting going? Now we can talk about boundaries with other people, right? That, that, that's a separate segment, but what else is stopping you? From getting going let's say you've created some good boundaries with with your family members or your whoever lives with you or whoever bothers you you've closed the door right you close the door behind you and you told them i'm working right now for the next hour don't bother me okay go watch tv child <laughs> shouldn't here's my ipad you know go and play play with that for an hour or do your homework if they're if they're good enough to do that or go play outside uh don't run into the streets um and then you've done and then now you get to work quietly these tips i've given you if they're not helping, please comment below and let me know what else, where else are you stuck? And let's, uh, you know, I'd love to reply to your comment below. So thank you so much.